So, yes, very yeah, much, Matt. What, what are your thoughts on that one? Yeah, look, uh, very, very impressive by Lisa. Uh, not the greatest start, um, but Marta Volkovic is one of the best out of the blocks, for sure. Uh, Teresa Portella, again, a fantastic start, as I said. If she got out um, really, really well, then she was certainly going to um, uh, challenge for the podium, and she did so. Um, but Lisa's back end is just phenomenal. She powered through the field to win by it. Um, probably just under a boat length, uh, half a boat length. So, again, Matt, uh, yes, we speak about her, but it's a classy woman we see before us. And, and to do that in, in a field that is filled with Podolskaya, uh, Portea, um, Borkaevic. Clint of uh, Osipenko is an uh, Olympic champion of 2008 K1500. She's no slouch. Um, well, let's move on to that. We'll examine it in the days to come. But now we go on to the C1-200 women's final. And historically, if we think that Lisa Carrington is dominant, we've seen nothing yet with uh, Laurence Vincent Laporte. She, she normally wins by a country mile, doesn't she? She's been so dominant. Indeed. But we saw this is the... She was a little bit worried when I spoke to her two days ago. She said, do you realise how many athletes are in this? I think there's 41 or 42 uh, mm -hmm. C1s, which is unheard of. And there's quite a few coming up to her level that we seen now for the last two or three years in good competition bulgaria brazil romania have really really been uh, uh, pressing here with belarus so it's good to see that the uh, and also uh, uh in your in your picture there from hungary uh, she's going to be dangerous for sure um and, and i know that brazil's been putting a lot of focus into their sea boats uh, ahead of the their home olympics next year which is fantastic to see i think uh, uh concheco uh, from uh, lane six will be certainly challenging uh, Vincent Lepoint um, in lane four. So, look, it is good to see such a breadth in the C1 women's. It's certainly come, uh, you know, bound since uh, the, the Olympic program uh, brought that event in. And uh, to have 41 athletes contesting this event is testament to, to how, how well the world has, has taken it on. Well, last year in Russia, we saw some very fast times, but possibly the conditions, well, they were certainly in, uh, it very much in our, in our favour. Mm. But it's, uh, you have to manage the conditions here. What's good news is in the last uh, 10 minutes or so, the breeze seems to have dropped a little bit. Yeah, look, it's, um, these flags are just puffing around. It potentially is uh, swirling around to a very, very slight uh, cross-tail breeze. But conditions here in Milan have been switching between a, a cross, a, a slight head, and a little bit of a tail, and they're off. Out of the well, box. We have to look out for lane number four. She's won the gold medal this event every time it's been defeated, uh, but she's had a very, very slow start. This could surprise me. It's Daniela Slamanova in lane number five, who's looking good at the moment. Look for the, uh, the late finish by the Canadian. She's got some fantastic boat running for the last 100 of this race. So she'll be coming through hard. Well, it's lane number eight, which is Hungary, but it's the action is in lane number five, Bulgaria, and lane number four, Canada. This is the first time we've seen her put under pressure at this level. It's going to be very interesting to see how she reacts with 50 metres to go. Indeed. The ratings are a fair bit slow. I can... You can see she's just brace stroke there, but it's certainly lane five, Bulgaria's coming over, looking the goods, and uh, we're just going to take this by a nose if she can hold on. A great race by well, Staminova to take that from Bulgaria. Well, about 100 metres to go, it looks like uh, Laurence uh, Vincent Lepoint, she, she steadied up or she did something. Yeah, she brace stroked on the left, and uh, there must have been a little bit of wash coming from the warm up lane, but. Look, that's disappointing. She ended up fourth. Uh, we were looking for her to, to podium for sure. Well, that is uh, staggering news. Well done, Stavila Slemanova from Bulgaria. She uh, led from the start to the finish. Kinshko Takic from Hungary. She also did well at the bottom lane, taking second place with Camille Bobra, given the third place. So Lance Vincent Lebrun will have extra motivation now to perform in the future, but we have to say she is the living legend of this sport, won all four president issues. Mm. Always a tight finish for the lunge in the sea boats. We saw the first two boats coming over were writers and she was a lefty. I don't know if that played against her Potentially, a yeah. It was on the uh, opposing side to the wind, the, the slight cross breeze coming across the course here in Milan. I know Sebastian Brendel yesterday when his epic race, he said about an hour before his race, he was actually really nervous because he was, uh, he was on the wrong side of the wind. 
I, I guess it might might affect them here. We'll have to ask her, but that's a wonderful victory for, for Staniela Stanenko from Bulgaria. 48.718, as you can see, Bulgaria, Hungary, uh, sorry, Bulgaria, Hungary, Belarus take the, the medals here, which is a, a huge upset. We'll have to find out what happens. It's fantastic to see. I mean, I'm down to, down to fifth.